Hello. All right, all right, mate. There you are. I can see you. Oh, hold on. Let me sell my camera out. I, I can't see you. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm back in paradise. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're just a massive helmet, aren't you? <laughs> Do you know what? You as well, a little I've, walk. I, I, I've tried to dress a bit summery because it's <laughs> beautiful outside, and then you have to do this. I you know, see that. It's only chips. <laughs> well, before I piss on your chips uh, with that, I have to ask, what is that shirt? <laughs> Well, it's, I thought I'd wear something summery because it's summer. I, I see that. But why do you own it? What are you talking about? It's nice, <laughs> nice, look. Get on the boats. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is that is rascal. Yeah. That is a rascal uh, yeah. shirt. I have, so, I, I have some salmon shorts that I wear it with as well. But <laughs> I, I, I don't mind a pink shorts. I don't mind a pink short. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it just it makes me smile. I wear it like, you know, early I'm evening. I'm just trying to say, I do have... I have some some flowery shirts, but specifically for the beach upstairs. Should I should I have should I have uh, flowery? Right. You've done bit? enough. The background's ne nice enough. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. I'll I'll save even it for next time. Even though it's beautiful outside, I am still sat in my lodge. Yeah. Shed. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a shed. Have you seen this in my terrace? By the way, I forgot to show you. I've got I've got my own bar. What? You got, got your bar. Own bar. That's a bar there. Is that? So can you? Is it? Do you go behind it and stuff? It looks like a cabinet yeah. from here. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Well, no, I don't need you to go and pour a pint, dickhead. God. Oh, he has gone behind the bar. Look. Oh. You don't have to get yourself... All right, I get it. You don't have to be... But you're on your own, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'd never go behind there. It'd be really sad if I did. Imagine serving myself my own drink on my Jack Jones. <laughs> Yeah, but, but you, um, could get, you, you could hire a, ba hire a barman and have a little party in there, couldn't Well, you? exactly. Well, we, we are still quarantined here, actually. Um, no, hold on. I'm not quarantined, but um, we had to quarantine for seven days after I arrived. Uh, not only do we have to quarantine, but there's, there's curfews everywhere at eight o'clock. So, and that means even if I, there's curfews at 8 p.m. So even if I had people over, they'd all have to leave at eight. So at the moment, the bar is is out of use, but the that's hopefully going to get yeah, it's going to get lifted soon in the next couple of days. And hopefully, yeah, I'm thinking about trying to get a projector on this terrace and getting people over for the Euros. Yeah, as long as the game's not after eight o'clock. Yeah, well, that's true. That's true. Which is a massive kick um, in the swingers. Well, it will be because I'm five hours. I'm five hours behind, aren't I? Yeah, I bet you yeah, do. Yeah, I'm five yeah. hours behind. There's no yeah. no games kicking off at one p.m. at one a.m. Sorry. Right, you got your that's beer. Fair. Well, I've got a beer. Yeah, I'm going to pour what? it out of shot because it's uh, it's not because it's, it's not, not a sponsored one. Okay, I'm going to show my mind's a carib just uh, oh, just to read. I love carib. I know you do. <laughs> I love carib. That's it's from where my wife's from in Grenada. That beer. It's a Grenadian oh, beer. No, it's delicious. It's. Uh, I love that beer. I like to drink it when I'm in the Caribbean. Carib or guada. Oh, so, uh, it's a top beer. Oh, it reminds me of being out in the Caribbean. That's I've why I'm drinking so it. Long. To annoy you. Right, well, um, here's, I've, I've got a glass of beer. It's actually got a bit of lemonade in it because I'm driving. I see that. Uh, oh, okay, fair no, enough. No, but I'm driving. I've got to pick my daughter up in a bit from school, so. Can't anyway, argue with that, okay. Here's cheers, to mate. you. Cheers, uh, cheers to everyone out there. I hope you're enjoying the Cheers to everyone out there, yeah. Here's to your shirt. Mm. Oh, I love a bit of carrot. Mmm, yeah. love a bit of carrot. Yeah. So, mate, let's have a chat about what you're out. You're now in uh, over there in Guadeloupe. I am. We had our first day filming yesterday. Uh, and what's the crack then? Yeah, this is what this is genuinely what I want to know because I'm worried that if I do go away, which we're planning on going away, I told you in the Caribbean next month, depending if we get off this pissing amber bollocks. But if I do go, what do I have to expect? Like, what was the journey like on planes? And was it was it a nightmare queuing? And was it I don't know. I don't know what I can. I don't know how helpful. Don't tell I can me you flew private jet because I'll punch you. <laughs> yeah, no, I just, I just got the, I just got the jet out and uh, just came down from Miami. No, um, I don't know how helpful I can be, only because this is a French Caribbean island. So the, even under normal circumstances, you have to go through Paris, and it's, it's, it's more tricky. Also, we've now left the EU, so there's all that kind of nonsense. Oh, I had to spend, Crap. I had to send my passport away for a week. I had to do a three hour drive down to Miami to go and see the, the embassy and whatever. And I was like, oh yes, got our country back. Brilliant. Um, yeah. So thanks everyone for that. That was brill. Um, so in terms of, uh, there's not a huge amount of queuing. It, it's all right. Uh, Coming out here, there was loads. Of, I, had, I had like a sheaf of papers like this and you need, when I was coming out here, you need proof of where you're staying, 
a, re, uh, a declaration uh, on your honor, on your integrity. It's a declaration of integrity to say, I haven't got COVID. You need a PCR test to say that you've, uh, a negative PCR test from 72 hours. Um, you need a letter from the French embassy and so on and so on and so on. That's all supposedly changing here in the next couple of weeks. So I think, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know what England to Grenada is going to be like, but England to France. What's it like on the plane? You've got to wear a mask. Yeah, got, all the time. Have you got to wear a mask on the plane? Whole time, That's yeah. bollocks. I can't do that. I'm seriously, I'll struggle with that. I don't like didn't wearing we, a mask in Tesco's. Didn't no, we do that when I we were- I'm just <laughs> heading. Didn't we do that when we were coming back from South Africa? I'm sure we wore a mask on the plane all the whole, whole way No, back. we never wore a mask. We didn't wear a mask. I remember walking down from first class into your business class areas. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I remember it well. I, I remember that. And I, I never, and I, 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 I never had a mask on. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, I think I did in business class. I think that we were meant to, yeah. Uh, that was so I annoying. First, that was so. Annoying. How did that even happen? Me and you walked on the plane. We were going. This is amazing. Oh, because because like not to sound to listeners, not to sound too too big time. Like I don't. We don't. I don't think know about you, but I don't really get to fly business class that much. It's not like if you're if you're in America. No, 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 no. No, if if you're again, I'm always talking about the difference between our industry and America. If you're in America and they're flying you anywhere, they're like, sure, we'll put you in first class. That's just the way it is. For us, they tend to be like. Yeah, no, nah, just just jump just jump on the first plane you can find. Yeah. So I don't really get to fly to get to the airport. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Saying, yeah. So I don't really get to fly for uh, business class much, and I don't think you have either that much in life. So me no. and you, if you if you remember, we were walking on the plane coming back Buzzing, from yeah. from Joburg. We were walking on the yeah. plane going business class flight. This is going to be great. You'll be <laughs> next to me. We'll have a bit of a laugh and get some sleep. Put the you know the bed all the way. That's going to be great. And then they went, excuse me, Mr. Mellor, can you come with us? And I went, ha, 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 you've been downgraded to economy. And you walked back in about five minutes later and went, I'm in first class, I got my own double bed. I was like, fuck you. <laughs> I walked back in my jammers that they gave me. I know. Why? <laughs> Do we ever find Mr. out Mellor, why that happened? Like to- would you like to? Uh, would you like to put your jammers on for the flight? Oh, I thought. Oh yeah. Where do I put my clothes? Oh, you've got a wardrobe. Oh, have a sweet. Unbelievable. Thank you very well, did much. we ever find out so why think, that happened? It, they just upgraded some person, and it was just me. It was just by pure luck. But if you remember rightly, while we was out there, you nicked my room when we was in out in South I Africa. Did. I, I did. I went for a kip, and you nicked my room, and you put me somewhere down in some. They called it the honeymoon lodge, and it was literally riddled with bats and bugs. I got the, the I got the at night time it was alive I got the presidential suite <laughs> exactly dickhead so you got what you deserved that's what happened <laughs> I was livid I was like why is he on first class you like because they obviously knew who I am <laughs> well yeah uh, yeah big two pints fans uh, yeah no, uh, yeah it was after you left so uh, no yeah. I was just thinking no the reason why I was worried because I just I'm, I don't like the mask thing and it's getting on my tits. Um, I, I did this thing for ITV um, a couple of weeks back and I'm in the building. Before you go in, the night before, we do one of these proper tests where the nurse comes around, they do the proper swab. You get your result. I go Scrape a bit of your brain job. off your skull. Yeah, man, you know where it goes, right? Yeah, yeah, it's horrible. Um, and, you, and I go in to do the job and it's a programme called Rolling It. It's an ITV Saturday night thing with Stephen Mulhern, right? So I go in, game show thing. Everybody in that building has been tested, otherwise they can't be in the building. All the contestants, all the staff, everybody's been tested. They're obviously all negative, yet we're all walking around with masks on. And I said, hang on, who can we infect if no one's got it? And who can catch it if no one's got it? And they all went, yeah, you're right. So I said, so why have we all got to wear masks all day? They went, we don't know, but you have to. I went, that's what I don't get. That's what I don't get. Isn't there... Uh, well, hold on. Let's think about this. How? When did you have your test, and how long was it before the result came in? No, it, it, well, it's it's um it's a, a test that takes. I think it's a four hour test. So when the result four came hours. back, that's I think so. But I, it was a proper one, the, like the official one you can do. The PCR so, test, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't like a lateral flow. But that's what I'm saying. Everybody in there ha- has not got COVID, and you had a temperature te- check as well. I just what I don't understand is about this mask thing is is. I understand if it's the rules. I don't like, I'm not here there to break rules and to kick off and all that stuff. I don't like wearing them, but that's the case. But when you're in a building where everyone's been tested and obviously no one's got it, who are you protecting yourself from? This is what I don't get. In a secure building, what's the point? I don't get it. That's what, that's my, and that's what my concerns are about being on a plane. If it's the same as a train and I'm on a plane for 10 hours, that's a long time to wear the mask for. Oh, Sat yeah. Down. It's That's fine though. Time. Just yes, get get those paper ones. Relatively comfortable mask. Get on that. But honestly, you don't notice it. You'll be asleep within an hour anyway. 
What, with a mask on? If wake up thinking oh, yeah. someone's strangling me. I don't, I'm like, oh, I'm going to do <laughs> Don't like it. How, how anxious are you as a person? That that's well, on a flight, happened. I am quite anxious as well. I've had a plan and I thought, apparently you don't have to wear a mask if you eat. So I'm just going to get a big bag of nuts and eat. Constantly, the entire minutes. time for 10 hours. <laughs> <laughs> One every 10 minutes. <laughs> You'll get off the plane huge. <laughs> yeah, having put on loads of weight. Massive, massive nut farts. Yeah. Well, listen, I was just what I was saying, I did that rolling in it, right? That, that TV show. I don't mm. know if you've ever seen it. Rolling in it is a game show. Saturday night, um, like primetime ITV one thing, that sort of thing. And it's, you have three people off the telly, celebrities, which I don't like using that word, but you know. And then you have three members of the public, you team up with them. So it was me, Joe Brand, and some other bloke. Can't remember his name. And, um, and we had our people... <laughs> that's, like, <laughs> that's showbiz for you? <laughs> I can't remember. But um, you know, I know him as a Birmingham lad. He's a radio DJ. <laughs> he's great. I just, I just forgot his name. Anyway, so so the thing about this is what you have to do, you have to answer questions and then you um, there's a board at the end and you, you have a big giant coin and one of you load it and you press it and the coin rolls down and it wobbles all over. And whenever it lands, it goes into the slot and you either you win the money... Oh yeah, items, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you get it's like an old, it's like a theme. Park One of those game. penny yeah. game things, yeah, yeah. But you put it in, and the, there's things that go down like that, so they, they run down like that. And if your coin lands in that, and it lands in the thousand pound, you win a thousand pound for your bank. Anyway, obviously it's not my money; it's this lady's woman money, and she's seventy nine years old. Oh, 69, sorry, 69 years old. <clears throat> Just added 10 years to her. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Retired, retired children's entertainer, lovely woman from Bridge End. And you know when you really want to do well for it? I can't give away what happened, but my God, it's one of the most stressful nights out I've had. I thought this would be fun. Honest to God. I was, I was honest. And, if, and wait, if she didn't I have win, to answer though. questions as well. Oh, mate, and that's not your forte, is it? <laughs> Under pressure, asking questions, answering questions. Do you remember us on The Weakest Link, by the way? Do you remember being beat in the fight? I'm still angry about that. We spoke about this. I'm, oh, oh, yes, oh. yes, we did talk we kept about it. Kept on calling still... Limbit Limpit. Because <laughs> <laughs> we were pissed. And didn't we, we were pissed, pissed with a beer on, on The Weakest Link. And didn't Limbit open tell you... That's, didn't that's you, a question. You, yeah, and, oh, that's it. We, we got the first round, or I remember we got the first we round, the or correct. And I went, yeah, have that, Robinson. <laughs> she, <laughs> she loved us, though. She quite liked was, us. And I called, I called Limbit Limpit, but he... Um, didn't we he wrote say it to down, you that, do you remember? Did you he say to you that that was, that, was, <laughs> that that was racist against Welsh <laughs> people? <laughs> Uh, I'm sure I, I he did. All I know is we were laughing at him and he was stuck with a cheeky girl, which was even more funny. It's like, yeah. Limbit, Limpit, look at your face and look at you stuck with. There's a reason. But, but mate, uh, and at the end, at the end they, they were like, name the, name the Russian owner of Chelsea FC. And they went, Abrazovich. And she went, correct. Yeah, I and I was like, give it how is that correct? I know. I know. I know. I was, honestly, I was livid. But, but, but there's a bit, the, the reason I, um, I thought of that, because you, know, you were just saying about uh, <laughs> TV game shows. But do you remember, I'd forgotten about this, but it was doing Twitter at the rounds on Twitter the other day. We were um, we were just two up from Major Charles Ingram. Do you remember the guy who cheated on um, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Okay. Remember the guy? What's so there was a guy it? famously cheated the, the on Who Wants the to Be coffer. a Millionaire. The coffer, right? And he was on there with his wife, Charles and Diana Ingram. And he, because in in in, in the, um, he wants to be a millionaire, he was, he said, I think it might be C, and he and his wife in the audience went, uh, no, <laughs> right, and then yeah. <laughs> it was really obvious, yeah. and then uh, and they won the th and they won the, the million, but then there was an investigation <laughs> and blah blah, and it was a big scandal. But I'd forgotten, like me and you, we were so I wouldn't do this now, but we were so kind of like didn't give a shit back in those days, and so just like cheeky right <laughs> because they're, they're introducing all the guests they go we're young i know they go it's uh uh you know early morning dj dj duo fabulous dj duo jk and joel and then it moves on it goes um so and so who wants to be a millionaire uh, winner uh, and wife major charles ingram and his wife diana right and they said hi Anne, right and you just <laughs> hear me go ah! <laughs> Like a uh, dick. I know, we were. <laughs> I'd forgotten about it. We oh, were young. Man. We were young. It's 
Massive we were young, we but I, like I was saying, it was it was proper nerve wracking, and I really, you know, I can't tell you what happened, but it, as you'll see, what it's just so stressful. And God, right. yeah, yeah. So anyway, if anyone listening, yeah, if you watch right. it, uh, rolling with it's worth it, a watch. But out. you'll see me squirm, and honestly, it's just unbelievable. I can't wait um, to see but, that come out on Twitter. Yeah, um, and also in other news, you remember last time I told you how Jaden put his fist through my telly? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Right. Well. I went. I went to. Um, I took it to the place where I got the, the TV shop, uh, the TV from um, in Curry's. Uh, so, uh, can I say Curry's? I mean, it's not the BBC. You can say what you want. So I took it to. Hold Curry's. on! Wait! 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 Hey! <laughs> <laughs> it's about time we got ourselves a TV sponsor. <laughs> Have you got a decent TV, Will, right? Where, Will, I went to Curry's where, and where do you get your television? <laughs> where do you where do you get your prime primo electrical goods from? Will tell me. Uh, so go on. You, well, you whenever went back to I look around TV. my room and I need a TV, I go to Curry's. <laughs> uh, no, listen. So anyway, he brought a TV. I had to take it in. It was under warranty and all that. I took it in. Leave it there. You've got a fourteen day window. Now this is this is the thing that annoys me. Insurance, right? Insurance should just be called in case shit, right? In case shit happens. So you pay it just in case shit happens, right? And you pay it every month, it comes out of your account. And if nothing happens, they just take your dough, right? But when something does happen, right? It's not easy to get them to cough up. What they, I'm telling you now, they jump. I, I took it in the TV and I went, there's my stuff, there's my, there's my proof and all that. Took the TV, they said, it'll have to be repaired within 14 days, otherwise they'll breach a contract. A week goes by, I go in and say, have you heard anything about my TV? Let, let me just check. They open the door and I can see my telly still sat there in the floor in the, in the back room. They said, uh, yeah, there's a, I said, yeah, there's a problem. They've not picked it up, but it's still there. And he said, yeah, uh, there was an issue. They, they, they missed the, the pickup. So I said, when? They said, they'll pick it up. Picked it up. So wait, just message. to be clear. So wait, just to be clear. The people who do the extended warranty, they have to pick it up. And take it away, and it has to be repaired within two weeks, or they're in breach of contract. Well, yeah, yeah, right? it's, it's team know how. And it's not even been picked up after a not week. Not been picked up, so I then go back, and, and so then I get a message saying, Oh, it's ready for collection. I went back, and they said, No, it's not here. And then I got a phone call from someone from team know how saying, We're picking your TV up. I went, You're not. You're not pick it from your house, I went, you're not. <laughs> I said, I think there's an issue somewhere here. They went, Let me call you back. Uh, phone call. We've got the wrong TV. I said so. So he said, oh, so where's your TV? I said, you should have it. Are you supposed to pick it up? <laughs> so I went into the shop and I went, listen, <laughs> there's been a balls up here somewhere. I want my TV and the kid's going mad. I've got an all on the wall where the TV's supposed to be. So just give me another telly. They went, we can't do that. I said, well, give me the value of that TV as a credit note and I'll buy another telly down. We can't do that. We've got to wait for confirmation from team know-how. So the manager is there, and, and the bloke's there who took my TV, and he said, I remember him dropping it off. It's not our fault, it's their fault. So I said, well, you've got to sort out between yourselves. He said, we will do. It's going to take a bit of time. So I said, well, tell you what, I'll buy a TV now, and then when the credit note comes in, you tell me. He went, all right, you'll be in next week. I went back in. Uh, we still heard nothing. I said, hey, hang on. You promised me oh next God. credit note. <laughs> I just forked out for another telly, an even bigger one, and just to please me kids. So my son can play his games and all that, and I can watch my football. But, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, yes, Michelle. But I want it. I want my credit note. And now it's the third week gone by, twenty-one days, still nothing. This is the thing about insurance. This is what my point I wanted to make about insurance. It, they can't wait to sell it you. They go, it's only this much, and if anything happens, if you got children, you know, you, and then you're fully covered. But you try and get it off them. Try and get any money out of them. Mm -hmm. And even worse, I used to be with private medical. It cost me a fortune, right? One of us used it. I can't remember who it was. Someone got hurt. I thought, oh, we've got private me medical. We used it. They took the money and then put me premium up about two grand. And I was like, I might as well have just paid for it. So if you get insurance, <laughs> right, and even if you do use it, they put your premium up. So it's just a waste of money. They just take your money. And as soon as you claim, they're like, you little bastard, you're not supposed to claim. You're supposed to just take your money. That's all we want yeah. to do. You're not supposed goes to... goes against the exactly. plan. Exactly. So I just thought, cancel it. And if, if we need to pay for it, if, it, if the operation costs you two grand, then fair enough. But I spent more than that in the last few years on the private. And then they put your premium up, so you pay even more. It's just insurance. Do you know it just what? does me head in. Do you know what I'm getting out of this more than what? anything? Um... 
you've blown the curry sponsorship. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, curries. Yeah, <laughs> that's not happening. Yeah, you were supposed to tell me how great they were. <laughs> but they do do good tellies. <laughs> oh, it's too late. Shit. It's too late. <laughs> you fucked it. <laughs> you can get speakers as well from there and cables and all sorts. Of yeah, no, it's too late. You just slagged them off. And Team Know How, Team Know How aren't coming on board now, are they? I'll tell you now. Uh, team oh, team Know How are doing Michael Flatley all over me TV as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, I wanted to know. I was deaf. I was deaf in paradise and getting back over there. I wanted to know about that. What's happening? Oh, it's great. Yeah, it's great. It's, I love it. I love it. You know, I do love it. It's an absolute dream job. I love it. Um, it even quarantine. I had to quarantine for seven days. People are like, oh, is it okay quarantine for seven days? It's like before I left London a year, over a year ago, we were in lockdown anyway. Couldn't leave my house. Here, I've got this view looking out in the Caribbean, pop out to get some groceries and then play the PlayStation and just sit in the sun and lie in the pool all day. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> Even quarantine was great. Um, but yeah, we've got some new faces. Uh, the lovely um, old faces uh, from last year. Uh, yeah, it's just Have great. You started I filming? love it. I absolutely love it. I did. Yeah, started first day yesterday, and uh, and I've got to go uh, in about an hour. I'm I'm, I'm off to uh, to do day two, um, which is great because normally I'm in every scene every day, so it's a nice little easy run in to have a one scene in for day one and, and one scene in day two. But um, but I did have a little bit of a scare because I um, uh, at your Daily Express. Here's your story. Here's your Death in Paradise story this week. Since you're obsessed, uh, they um, <clears throat> I lost my voice. I lost my voice on Saturday night. What do you mean? Well, Sunday morning. And I was only, well, my first day was Tuesday, right? And um, and uh, Saturday night, I was I was out, you know, saying, you know, saying hi to some of the, the old gang from last year. But, um, but we couldn't even be out too late. It was curfew at eight. So <laughs> literally I was back by eight. And was, I was out a couple of hours and we're chatting away and having a beer, but, Again, nothing massively strenuous, but here's the thing. I woke up on uh, Sunday morning, couldn't speak. And when I say couldn't speak, I mean, literally, my voice was like That's that. so I had nothing, frustrating. Like, I had nothing. It was so, well, it was terrifying. <clears throat> I was like, and then I was like, thank goodness, I, I've got Monday off. I'm only in on Tuesday, so that's good. And I had two days to recover. But Monday, I had no voice either. And then yesterday, it just miraculously came back. But um, all I, what I think it is, is... Um, it occurred to me that because I've not been out, because uh, I've not been out at a bar, you know, I've not done that thing where you sit, sit, stand in a bar and chat for three hours at, the, at bar volume. You forget, you, my voice you is just used to You were just chatting pure shit you know, to you, people you, for hours, weren't you? Oh, just chat shit. It. Just chat shit for hours, yeah. People's yeah. ears off. And another story. And another story. This thing let about me tell me. you about I'll team. Let about me tell you about team know how. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. People are like that fucking but it was that way, talking you know, about you, to sleep. You don't realise you're doing it, but, but you know when you go in, you know when you're doing that bar chat and it's a little bit loud because of the music, and you, my, my throat, my your voice hasn't been used to doing that for months. darling, you haven't warmed up. You didn't warm up, sir. You mm. need to do your, you need to uh, do your well, exercises uh, before if, you go out drinking. It's natural. The day I see you for a warm up before you, you go to, to a bar to is, is, is I'll <laughs> I, the day I see you doing a warm up before you go to a bar, I'll show you my ass. I'm going out tonight. <laughs> On la, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Me, 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 me. Tip of the Listen, knee, the tip forget the bar. The, the day bar. I see anybody mm -hmm. doing that, I want to smash him in the teeth. Stop that shit. I can't oh. stand it. Don't do that. Not around me. Well, the thing is, I, yeah, I, it's yeah. I mean, you got to if if you if you're doing a musical, you're doing a big a big big speeches in a play. It's like you got to otherwise you, your voice isn't going to last eight shows a week. And I, I I get that and respect that. But I once did this play years and years and years ago, where this guy uh, had to say one word, not even one line, one word. Like he was in it a lot, but he was kind of very silent in it. And then right at the end, I think he just had to say something like "true." That was all he did. He just nodded and he said "true," right. And at the interval, I could hear him going, me, 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 la, 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 la. Tip of the tongue, the teeth and the lips, tip of the tongue. And I was like, I think you can manage what a, true what a penis. without the warm up. What a do you know, I it's know. one of them that goes out after the show with a scarf on. I can't, I can't, really, I can't do it my voice. I have to keep mm. my voice warm. <laughs> Fuck off. People like that, them theatre lovers who go out for a night out with a scarf around the neck, so people can say, why have you got the scarf on? It's warm outside. I've just got to save my voice for the show. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> Take it somewhere else, bullshit. <laughs> Can't stand it. 
Well, you did a musical, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I, I sometimes had a you beer know, before the night, show. You know what I mean? Day. I was very professional. <laughs> <laughs> there was one time on stage, right, when I was doing Oh What A Night. It was, it was, we were coming to the last run of shows, so it was like the last weekend, and you do pranks on a bit of bit of an end of term. Yeah, feel, you do, yeah. but you do some pranks, and I was and I, part of my job on stage is I was playing this singer that goes to America to try and get a deal. Kid Creole was in it, all oh, that '70s musical, all that sort of stuff. And I get a job behind the bar at the club, and that's how I get in. Anyway, I'm behind the bar, so I'm giving. So when the dancers come over, like the the, the focus is over there or someone else on the stage, I give them water. So they go, so I, I pretend I'm giving them a drink and I give them water so they can recoup. Well, this night, I smuggled some vodka behind the stage. <laughs> so when the dancers, they do this big routine, get down, turn it on, they're the dog dancing, and then they come over sweating. <sighs> go, what? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Wax it in and they go, neck it. And they just saw these big set of <laughs> these eyes. <laughs> and I went, yeah, have that dickhead. <laughs> and they're looking at me going, <gasps> and then they got to go and dance. They all did a sh massive shot of vodka. And I, and I was laughing. Amazing. And I, and I saw the eyes just go, <gasps> and they had to go back and do a routine. Didn't, it was brilliant. Didn't you also, I'm sure you once told me that, I'm sure you once said, in the middle of the show, you had to come up from the bottom of the stage and you were watching United, uh, United in, I think, the no, FA Champions Cup League or the Champions final, League or something. 1999. Champions League. Yeah. And they, they won the Champions League final and you you came up with a massive flag behind you, United for, Which I, I feel was, is, I, like, I, I not allowed. Yeah, but it was one of them. It was a bit of a... I was pissed off because I said, you've got to cancel the show. It's Saturday night. United are in the Champions League final to win the treble. A, I wanted to watch it, but I just thought, no one's going to turn up. The audience, it was packed, just full of women. Just packed. I was like, fuming. So I, I was trying to, before I came on, I was, it was just, they had a little monitor below the stage. So I was trying to watch it. And we were one nil down, as you know, till like the 90th minute. And we scored two goals yeah. in two minutes. So I, I, and we were cheering and the stage manager come down and said, the audience can hear. And I grabbed all that. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? And I ran on stage and got my flag, <laughs> ran on stage and the audience cheered. And then, and then it was just like, I was just jumping around with my flag. And then and then the show went on and we did the bows. I brought my flag on again for the bows and all that. It's completely broke character. And it was, honestly, what... Yes, exactly. I, out, I know it wasn't very professional, but my God, walked out onto the streets of Manchester and it was people on cars, in fountains, bibbing the horns. I remember. Unbelievable. But yeah, yeah, that was all I, I remember. I was, in Riley's, I was in Riley's pool hall in Presswich and then I went to Manchester afterwards. We may, we may have even passed cross paths. Oh, it was, got it was just great. Up. Yeah, man. No, no it was, that was funny. Good memories, man. That was where I met Michelle on stage. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was good. Good time. I was watching her warm up. Uh, tell me about the first time you clapped eyes on her and like the first thing you said. <laughs> you know this story. <laughs> Walked in. I've never seen dancers. I've never seen dancers warm up before, and it was my first day. Um, and I walked in, and I've got I've got some casual jog jogging bottoms on. You know what I mean? I'm I'm just me. I'm I'm, I'm like just trying to swing this and make sure I don't look so so yeah. shit. Jambo so from Hollywood. So shy Hollyoaks. on That's stage. I, I don't know. I don't know. I had the single out, so that bit, so I can sing a bit, but the dancing bit. I thought I can dance a bit, but you know you you don't want to look a dick. And these are all professional dancers. And then. Uh, first time I saw her, she had these like shades on, and I wanted to speak to her, but I sort of said hello to someone else. Do you know, I went, I, I just, I don't want to be rude. I just wanted to say, like, and as I'm shaking her and I'm looking at Michelle trying to, because she ignored me and I found it quite attractive. I thought, ooh, she's playing hard to get. So, but, but then I saw her warming up and I thought, that is my goal. So she, Why, what, what was she, what, what, she, what was she, she had doing? One, she had her head on her leg and the other leg up the wall. Yeah. Stretching out. And I thought, that's impressive. <laughs> Uh, yeah, wait. Is that what you thought? What exactly did you think? I, 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 the words can't come to my mouth. I was absolutely gobsmacked. It was like them cartoons when your eyes yeah. go out of your head. She, she had her head <laughs> on her leg against the wall, and her other leg was up the wall, just just stretching. It. And then she, and then we we got talking, and I, we went for a sandwich. Uh, I went for a sandwich, and I said, "Cool, there's a nice sandwich shop over there." And and I said, I'll, I'll, buy you, I'll buy you a sandwich. You sort of order what you want. And uh, she went to the bloke. Oh, it was in Manchester, wasn't it? The rehearsals were in London. Um, but the show was oh, okay. And she said to the guy, uh, oh, that's the closest. I'll get him to buy me dinner. And I thought, oh. And I went, I'll buy you dinner. Oh, yeah. Hey, 
So Michelle made Michelle sort of made the first she knew move. I was interested, but my God, that 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 that, that was a day to remember. That watch, watching her stretch out like that was unbelievable. Mate, hold on, I forgot. So Michelle, that that Michelle actually made a bit of a yeah, play. Yeah, because I was a bit. Shy. I was. I won't say I was. I'm, I'm not. I'm not good at approaching women unless I know. Unless I know it's going to be a hundred percent yes. I don't want to be. You don't want what's a custard. No one wants a full custard. I, know. I hate, mate. I can't stand the idea of custard pie. Yeah. Absolutely yeah, and she not. She wasn't. She was one. She wasn't one of them people that you know. She she didn't make it obvious because she was. That's what I liked about her. She ignored me a lot, and you know. And but she apparently she had her eye on me, but I she just didn't show it. It's plain hard to get basically. She she knew I was watching her stretch out. I'm sure of it, hundred percent. She must have thought, "Where's Will?" Like, she's me, never pull this move she's out. never before or since done that stretch <laughs> at all. Normally she's just like that. Oh, just just getting the old shoulders. Say, like, she's, say, she sees you coming in around the corner. She's like, "Quick, get the leg up the wall." I won't say never again. Once once in a while on a Saturday night, I might get her to pull it out for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after a curry. Don't, we can't talk about her anymore. After... She keeps shouting at me. She keeps having a go. We can't talk about her anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I tell you another thing about what about what about the first time I met Michelle? Have we talked about that? I can't remember doing yeah, listen, this. Listen, she hates you still for that. She's, I know. I can't remember doing I it, remember it. I don't know why I did it. Must I must have found it? I must have thought it would be because hilarious. You were a dick, Ralph. That's why. And and, and I wasn't far <laughs> behind you. Um, I, yeah. We she she. We've already talked about how what dicks we were when we were she, younger. We just thought like it'd be funny to just do mad. We shit. finished rehearsals of two pints, and Michelle's. I, I was renting this flat. It was. Um, in, on King's Road, wasn't it? And I got this, I was renting this remember, little yeah. flat thing and then Michelle had just finished dance so she was starving and she just made herself spaghetti bolognese and it, she was sat with it on her lap. She literally just put it on her lap and I came bounding in and went, hey, this is my new mate, Ralph. And instead of you saying hello, you just, I, uh... you just put your face in her food and took a big mouthful. You just put your <laughs> face in her plate of bolognese. Why? Went, <laughs> Why? <laughs> I ruined her dinner. Why would I do I know, that? She still hates you for it. I obviously must have thought it was hilarious. That was her dinner, and she's starving. And she she <laughs> she sort of laughed, but really she wanted to stab you with the fork in the face. Oh my god! Yeah. And we just went. We, oh, we were man. like, we're going to pub, and then she had no dinner. She just had a, a plate. Yeah, that was it. Yes, that, all that's the funniest bit. You're like, I'm sure you probably went, ha 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 ha, and then went, okay, see you yeah. later, love, and off exactly. we went. <laughs> Oh dear! I tell you what. I we tell you what. There's, such um, dicks when we last night I was a bit knackered this morning, right? Last night there's a thing that my wife does now. She's into this thing where she, I'm, I'm talking about it again. Can't help it. But she's she has technology for everything. Do you know, like she has. She won't go out walking unless she's got a thing on her wrist that counts how many steps she's done. Yeah. And I just don't get yeah. it because I'm like, should we? We're, we're going to go for a walk, and we'll, we'll get out. And she goes, stop. We can't walk anymore. We we'll have to go back and get me. Uh... And I was like, what for? So I can count my steps. Well, you're still getting your steps in. No, 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 they don't count unless... Right, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that, and it tells her how long she slept. So it tells it. so she'll get up and she'll say, do you know what? I only had four hours and 48 minutes sleep last night. I was like, fuck, who gives a shit? Why do you need to know that? Why, why do you need to know how much sleep you've had, how many steps you've done, how many bananas you've had, how much... Ca this, you've got technology that tells you all this sort of shit that we don't need to know. If you want to lose weight, don't eat as fucking much. Don't have to look at a watch and go, oh, today I've I've had three calories over my limit, so I need to eat less tomorrow. <laughs> well, and you also, not only not only uh, is it recording all that sort of stuff, but it's sending it it's sending all that data away, and you know the companies they know all about well, you. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. Last night she forgot to turn one of them off. And in the middle of about five o'clock this morning, bing, 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 bing. I was like, fuck the fuck is that? She's got earplugs in, can't hear nothing. I've got to be up in the morning with my daughter at half seven. And then I'm up then, what the fuck, looking around the room. Ping, 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 ping. I'm waking Michelle, someone's pinging. And she's like, what? I was like, someone's fucking pinging. And then she had, all oh, right, turns it off, back to sleep, snoring. And I'm lay there now. Like, bright, broad daylight, it's summer. I've got to be up in two fucking hours. And then I get back to sleep and my alarm goes off 10 minutes later. I'm fucking knackered. I was like, going to school this morning. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. You know what I mean? It's technology, yeah, though. It's there just, you go. See, I'm on my Jack Jones. It's technology, though, it's just, it's involved in every part of our life. And sometimes I think, just switch it off. Turn it off. Don't need it. You don't need it. Yeah, it's, 
It's the knowing everything about you that worries me going forward. But you know. have you ever done that test on your phone? There you go. Have you ever done that test where you just say something? Say like, say like, if you're shopping, you happens all the shopping time for toilet seats. Happens all you're the time. Your phone, they'll just send you yeah. loads of messages about toilet seats. I know. It's listening all the time. It's shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've I've tried to turn as many of mine off as I can. I don't like have I don't have so loads of apps open. I like turn turn the microphone off on loads of apps. Like it's 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 really dodge. And then they are like you'll be like, oh, I, mine will pop up going carib beer because we talked about carib earlier. Like absolutely, I don't definitely. mind beer. I don't mind beers. You know, <clears throat> advertise them all you want for me. No, yeah, that's all right. That's different. Yeah. Carib, I love them. So today, today yeah. marks the tenth and final episode of. Um, Manscaped's uh, sponsorship. They were going to sponsor us for, for uh, uh, 10 yeah. episodes um, and they have and they've been incredibly supportive and we have to say thank you as we always do. Um, as per usual, um, uh, you can still get uh, 20% off uh, with our code 2 pints 20 all, cap, all caps, T-W-O-P-I-N-T-S-2-0. They've given us a lot of laughs, actually, a lot of unexpected uh, laughs. Manscaped. The last one was brilliant. Especially with like, nothing says I love you, Dad, more than more than a fresh pair of trimmed balls was a weird one. Yep. So Manscaped, so um, now it's for, uh, uh, obviously Father's Day's coming around the corner. So here we go, Father's Day is just around the corner. <laughs> Nothing says I love you dad more than a world-class trimmer for his balls, of course. Uh, the Lawn Mower 3.0 from Manscaped is the best body hair trimmer on the market. Offers precision engineered tools for your family jewels and you get 20% off of free shipping with our code Two pints twenty at manscaped.com. Thank you so much to Manscaped. Been Manscaped, really, you've really, been absolutely um, superb. You came really on board, you they stuck really with us, and people have been buying it, and yeah. people have been trimming up, and people have been thanking us. Men and women have been thanking us in their thousands yeah. to say thank you. Gorilla's kneecap. Gorilla's that's kneecap. Came, that's what came out of Manscaped. Gorilla's kneecap. Yeah, do you remember that? That yeah, was a yeah, highlight. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, in honour of of Father's Day coming up and Manscaped sponsoring us, and this has been our last one, we asked. Uh, what are the because of the whole thing about going nothing says I love you dad more than a uh, <laughs> freshly prepped, a world class trimmer for his balls we were like we asked out both of us put out to Twitter what uh, unusual Father's Day presents they'd given or received or no have, have been received so we've got a few of them here you ready <clears throat> a friend of mine once Anita Hudson says a friend of mine once bought her father a DNA kit for Father's Day thinking it was the same thing as a genealogy kit but it didn't go down well at all. You might just think about that for a second. Oh. Instead of a genealogy kit, it's like, oh, what's your ancestry? Instead, they went, I want to know who my real father oh. is. Oh, <laughs> that's that's not great, I is thought, it? That's oh. that's going to cause. You know, a, I thought you meant yeah. you were going to say that it was like a dish that you had to like put a sperm sample in or something like that and send that off. I thought that's what it was. Yeah, I think that. I think that's what oh, it is. No. That's what that's what they're saying. So I think they thought that they were buying one of those like. Oh, I'll check out my um, my DNA kit to check my uh, where I'm from or where you know my yeah. family's from, where my ancestors are from. And instead, they they got them a paternity oh, test. Oh, right. So, so like they said, Dad, we're not we don't <laughs> think you're our dad. We need to be sure. Yeah, now. go on, exactly. go work in this dish. Yeah, uh, Teresa Barrett had to get her dad a new set of false teeth because her mum put his ones in the dishwasher and broke them. I once bought my husband a box of chocolate barnacles for Father's Day from the kids, thinking that they would be like those shells you know those chocolate shells i'm registered blind so find it hard to read things properly sometimes when the chocolate barnacles turned up they were actually chocolate bum holes <laughs> he, he, he ate them he ate them but they were far too realistic looking for my liking i didn't even you can know. get chocolate bum you holes. can buy such a thing we found our new sponsor, Will. Listen. Never mind, Curry. Seriously. We're at, we're at episode 10. Thank you very much, Manscaped. But we want to be sponsored by Chocolate Bumholes for the next series, <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I wonder if that's all they um, do. Did they just do bumholes? I don't know. I've, not, like, I've never even heard of them balls? before. Are you Googling? Are you, are you so. searching um, now? If you can get, I'm trying to look, look up, up now. Dicks. I am. Do not, because someone will find your search. I'll go, what have you been looking at? Your search That's history. true, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Hold on, wait, let's see. I want to, I want to, uh, well, I won't be able to, hold on, I'll look up on my phone. I want to see what chocolate bumholes look like. What do you like. think they're going to look like? I think I know what they look like. Look in the like. mirror and bend over. That's what they look like. Don't do what I did, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, had one in, I had one in departures and wasn't ready. Don't do that. That'll well, ruin I, your day. 
Why? Why did that happen? I was just trying to see what it looked like when I farted. I wanted to know what the mechanism looked like from the bumhole area, and and a little a little pebble flew out. I didn't know it was there. It was hiding. I didn't know I had one in the I had one in the barrel. <laughs> it was a long time ago. When uh, I was young and stupid. How you've never played James Bond, I will never hey, apparently understand. Apparently it's on the cards. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure after this story, they'll be queuing up for you. fucking Brook Bond. Um, <laughs> I gave my dad an injured pigeon, a bus ticket that had a McDonald's voucher on the back, and a map of where to take said injured pigeon. He did, and the pigeon survived. It's not a bad present. <laughs> Weird fucking treasure yeah. hunt. Had a card off my daughter where she'd drawn a man with two fingers sticking up and a bubble saying, fuck off. She was only eight years old. I still have the card. It's quite That's sweet. a nice card. Oh, you still got it? From an, eight, from an eight-year-old. Yeah. She's had a good upbringing, hasn't she, for the last seven years? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, exactly, drawn, yeah. Reading unicorns so, and fairies and all sorts of rainbows yeah, yeah. at eight years old. <clears throat> She's doing this. Oh, dear. Nice. Yeah. So we don't, we're not going to get sponsored by Curry's. What was the other place called? You know how. Who? Uh, yeah, know how yeah, they, yeah, know yeah, how exactly. warrants going, what were they called knows, but they've lost my telly that's all I know when I want a credit note for the price of the telly please <laughs> now so we did our um, uh, Manscaped thing oh there's this to read out um, uh, know how warranty is the most reliable and, <laughs> and useful delivery service we'll de definitely guarantee your TV will be back within two weeks or your money back Told you! They sponsored us this week, so that's good. <laughs> I told you, what a load of bollocks. I told you. Nonsense. <laughs> I just made it up as oh, if sponsored oh, us. Sorry, I thought he was reading out a real warranty. <laughs> I was going to say, send me that. I want to take it in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear. So the winner, the winner of our, um, of our sending your Father's Day, um, your Father's Day uh, stories, uh, and you'll get, um, You'll get some free uh, merchandise stuff. Is um, is Joanna Wright for it's her story? Got to be the chocolate about, bum holes. Um, it the has chocolate to bum be. holes, yeah, because that made us laugh oh, a great it did. deal. It did. Yeah. So Joanna Wright, you got some manscape goodies uh, being sent your it way. Did and, did you uh, Google the chocolate bum holes? And I, and I, ho I hope your dad enjoys them. No, let's have a look. So, know, a anyone out there? Something. Google chocolate bum holes, but make sure you delete your history because seriously, you don't want that conversation. They won't. They won't <laughs> believe you. Oh my god! Yeah. Suddenly, I wonder what's going to come up. Chocolate bum holes. Pornhub. Yeah. Be careful what you might find. Belgian chocolate bum holes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'll read you what it says. This first. <laughs> Belgian chocolate bum holes. That's right. Dot, dot, dot. Edible anus. Ooh. What's new? Hasn't it always been? <laughs> Wait. Wait, hold on a second. Stop it. Wait, did you say something you don't want to do? I was joking, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Michelle said you don't like her talking it. about you. Don't Pete, you'll get me in it's trouble. <laughs> no more brownie points. Uh, wait, Belgian chocolate bum holes. That's right, edible anus. What's that? I don't like no bum hole I've ever seen. I might have not seen many. They're the worst, the worst thing I've ever seen. Uh, now I see it. I get it now. Right. It does look like it. Okay. And okay. Mm -hmm. Ring. Oh, I'm going to. I'm actually going to have to read Go on, this. Then. Rings of this is a real <laughs> website. Rings of succulent chocolate, lovingly cast and crafted from the delectable posterior of a stunning butt model from they're modeled off a real butt it's been a, look at the white look at the white chocolate one it's actually been up someone's ass <laughs> why would you eat that <laughs> so the mo the mold has been stuck well up the model has original yeah and it was originally named bizu and is now named edible anus who hand makes the dark milk and white chocolate sphincters of preservative free belgian chocolate oh Okay, not only do they... Oh, here's good news, Will. Here's what? good news. Not only do they sell chocolate bomb holes, but for those who wish for something a little more permanent, who permanent. doesn't, they sell a cast silver anus and are coming out with a limited edition crystal anus shown below. Here's the, here's the silver one. What'd you do with that? What'd you do with it? <laughs> I have no idea. Wait, and here's the crystal one that's coming out. That lights up! <laughs> <laughs> oh 
my god. Here's Someone me. must be buying this shit. Someone must be buying it. They won't make it. Here's no one's buying these. it. Do you know what? Do you know what? I just would what? love for them to go on the Dragon's Den with that. With the girl who's the model. Yeah. Walk on Dragon's Den and just stand there and say, what, what, what have you got today for us? Well, we've got these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, let let me you know. You the where are you keeping them? Well, funnily enough, <laughs> she's like, the yeah, set. this is the original from all the rest of which they're, they're made. You <laughs> yeah. can take home a souvenir. Yeah. Oh, my God. Edible Anus, that company's called. If they're, oh, there you go. I mean, this is a bit of unexpected promotion, but if, if anybody out there is desperate for a chocolate or silver or crystal bummel, <laughs> Edible Anus is your... Uh, <laughs> it's, and it says, their tagline is, Edible Anus, the anus that made Britain great. <laughs> Oh my God! I mean, see, that sounds like a Brexit slogan. Yeah, imagine <laughs> Boris. Hey, listen, I, I, it should be that Boris Johnson, the anus yeah, that yeah, made yeah, Britain yeah. great. Oh yeah, exactly. It's quite true. Yeah, apart from the great. Um, I yeah. went to Blackpool not so long ago um, with me, me, me kids and that. Um, we had a nice day. Went up there. Uh, when I was up north and went up and just remind me I said have she never had a toffee apple in her life? My daughter never had a toffee apple. So I was like, we've got to find one. We'll right. find a toffee apple. In the end, she said, oh, we'll go in this shop, right? And she, instead she got, well, remember the sugar dummies? The dummies, the big sugar dummy. Yeah. yeah. We, we, she, my wife came out and said, she said, oh, she's got a sugar dummy. And said, she said, that's not what she wanted to get. So I said, what else was she? It's a big sugar cock you can buy in the same shop. She said, why can't I have that one? That's she what's going wrong with a sugar cock licking it? I was like, no, are you mad? She was like, why can't I have that? I said, no, you're not having that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did she want that? She, she said she wanted to give it a brother. I was like, he's not licking that either. You've got it completely wrong. That's never going to be happening. Why did it be someone, be someone walking around licking a big sugar dick? No. Stop it. Where's the innocence? The innocence has gone from this world. You've got chocolate asses and I sugar cocks that. being sold in Blackpool. It's not right. For little children to walk around with. Do you remember? Bong. I'll never forget this. I think we might have talked about this before. But I remember you uh, talking about how we, I'd love to know what you still think about this. Back in in the two thousand when we were doing two pints, there was a um, there was a <laughs> like a, a minor controversy out in the press because remember BHS? I think it was Rich BHS. Um, they yeah they wanted to like, you know defunct now, but they wanted to um, they brought out thongs for girls as young as eight. Ah, mate, that's wrong. And you didn't think that at the time, did I not? No, you were like, oh, it's just you. By the way, this sounds a little bit like uh, you were being dodgy. You weren't. <laughs> you were like, yes, girls as young as eight in no. thongs. No, but you were like, I don't see any harm in it. You know, young girls, they just want to sort of act a little bit more grown up or whatever. And I was like, I still don't think they need to be in thongs at the age of eight, do they? Where's the innocence? And you, I remember at the time now. you're going, nah, nah, they, 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 there's no harm in it. It's like young girls want to wear makeup. And I was like, but still. Yeah. But um, So you don't think that anymore, no? No, no, I've got a daughter. 20 year old, 24 year old, 25 year old Will is different from 45 year old Will, very clearly. 100%, because now Which I've got a little girl, so things change. That's why, the same reason why I probably wouldn't have had a problem with a sugar dick. But now I've got my little, girl, my little girl possibly buying one from a shop in Blackpool, I have got a problem with a sugar dick. I think, I think age 25, even you might have drawn the line of going, hey, that eight year old's walking around with a sugar dick. <laughs> I just, you know, I get Blackpool's got the, maybe we used to be like all innocent, kiss me quick hats and kiss me quick, all that stuff. It's changed now, you can walk around literally licking a sugar dick on the front with your family. Do you remember them things they used to sell? The dog leads with no dog on them. Do you remember that? It was just a, it was just yeah. a lead with a loop in the end. You walk around pretending you had an invisible dog. All the innocence has changed. Yeah, it was fun. It was it was funny for a whole thirty five seconds, and you're like, I've just owned a, owned a piece yeah, of and, tat. Yeah, and you could get a piece of rock yeah. that was like that, but about two foot long and a big thick. It was like it'd take you a year and a half to eat it. You have to smash it up to bits. Yeah, I can't yeah. even eat that. Michelle bought some rock the other day. This is how you know you're getting old. And she went, Do "You want some rock?" And I said, "I can't. Just pull my fillings out." It's true. I can't. I can't trust my fillings. I have to threaten sweets. I have to chew them softly until they until they give in before I can really die. Because I, I just got out of my tooth. Just goes ah, out. Dentist. That's how you know you're getting old. Yeah. Me, you, and Deli Alley, mate. We're all yeah. at it. Well, the sun's still out shining. Oh, so I'm dear. Gonna go and get. I'm going to get some dinner. Yeah. I'm going to go and sit in the garden. Yeah, good man. Well, I've got to go to work, but um, it could be worse. The sun's back out good again. That typhoon was only about well, a minute have a good one, mate. Well, so I don't know next time I'll speak to you, but yeah, it'll probably be um, after the next England game. Uh, anyone out there listening, go yeah. and 
stream, download, buy the merch for Vindaloo too. It's all going to a good cause. Get yeah, do remember all the profits are going to the NHS and um, and it looks like it's going to be a it lot is of fun. Great. It's really good fun. And, and, uh, and fingers you know crossed. What? Listen, stick it on before England, like half an hour before the kickoff. Stick the video on or the song. Just get you in the mood. Get your England flags out and scarves. Get your family together. That's what all this is about. It's about coming together. Definitely. All right, nice Definitely. one, mate. All right, mate. Lovely to catch you up too. with you. Um, have a good day in the sun. I'm so so sorry about the um, about that shirt. I can only assume it was a bet. Listen, that you lost. And, it's, um, it's it's it's, <laughs> it's my summery shirt. <laughs> Living the dream. Yeah, no worries. Sure. All right. Whatever you, whatever you say. All right. Pal. All right, mate. See you I later. I want this just for you because I thought it made right. you feel nice and summery. See you in a bit. Yeah, it's made me feel awful. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>